주체 배고 2016년 1월 6일 10시 주체 조선의 첫 수소탄 시험이 성공적으로 진행되었다. 미국의 극악무도한 대조선 적대시 정책이 근절되지 않는 한 우리의 핵개발 중단이나 핵포기는 하늘이 무너져도 절대로 있을 수 없다. The prototype for the forthcoming Obama News Network, no doubt, ladies and gentlemen. All right, <laughs> welcome back. Um, that's uh, the North Korean, you know, uh, state-run propaganda TV announcing that they uh, uh, in fact, um, uh, launched and detonated a, a hydrogen bomb uh, yet last night. And joining us now to talk about this is Fred Flights, former CIA analyst and senior vice president for the Center for Security Policy, and Joshua Phillip, national security expert on Asia and investigative journalist for uh, the uh, Epic Times. All right, let me start with you, Fred. Um, you know, we, the, first, uh, we didn't know what had happened. Then the announcement, yes, that they, they successfully launched. And I kept hearing commentary throughout the night. This is a game changer if it happened. But now our government is saying it doesn't all add up. Uh, it doesn't look like they did, uh, you know, test a, a hydrogen bomb. What, what's your latest analysis? They did not test a hydrogen bomb. The North Koreans are notorious for exaggerating their technical accomplishments. Hydrogen bomb is substantially beyond North Korea's capabilities. I do think North Korea would like to test something called a boosted fission bomb, which has a small fission explosion, which boosted, significantly boosts the yield of the fission fuel, the uranium or plutonium fuel. That didn't seem to happen either, because the, the yield apparently was about the same as the last weapon. I also don't agree with North Korean claims that they have been successfully miniaturizing weapons. It was a nuclear test. It's bad news, uh, but but I I don't think it changes the situation substantially. All right, and that and that certainly uh, Joshua is uh, is a key. First of all, you agree with uh, with Fred on the uh, the test itself? Oh, d definitely. Uh, um, they they're saying they believe it's a hybrid uh, hydrogen bomb, which is not a full fledged bomb. Uh, the explosion was not nearly large enough to be a hydrogen bomb and if it's if they're still testing hydrogen bombs this is one of their first ones um, it would be much much larger you have to remember the first uh, US test of a hydrogen bomb which was in the Marshall Islands 1952 uh, it wasn't even considered a practical weapon uh, in, in its first stages because it was so large and you know clumsy I really doubt that uh, North Korea has done that yet. All right, so Fred, th this, th you know, you, you, at the tail end of your, uh, your uh, analysis before, you said it wasn't a hydrogen bomb, but it is troublesome, right? I mean, uh, the, here they go again. They did test some kind of weapon, uh, uh, you know, weapon of mass destruction. They're, they're, they're flexing their muscles and lying to the, to the world for whatever reason. But so how serious a matter is this? Well, any nuclear test is bad news because North Korea increases its experience and, 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 and capabilities to make more nuclear weapons. And I'm concerned that North Korea is sharing this expertise with Iran. So this is creating dangers in two areas of the world. And I'm very concerned that they may have tested a hybrid or, or boosted fission device. I don't think the boosted fission component succeeded if that's what they did. But it may succeed next time, and we, we may not see a, an explosion on the level of a hydrogen bomb, which would be a thousand times higher than North Korea's previous test. But we could see an explosion maybe 20 to 50 times higher. And I'm, I tell you, this is, this is getting dangerous. That, that doesn't sound too good, certainly. Joshua, what about the role of Iran uh, or, you know, the role of uh, North Korea in, uh, in educating and, and facilitating Iran's nuclear program? Right. Well, I've heard that uh, China, North Korea, Russia, and Iran share some elements of uh, their nuclear programs. I know China in particular was supplying parts to both Iran and North Korea, so these are pretty close. Well, thank tied. you. I'm going to sleep a lot better tonight. I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> it's, not, it's no laughing matter. All right, so what, what do we do about it, Fred? I mean, um, you know, does this, does this if, we, if we know this to be true or could prove this to be true, if we have any interest in proving it to be true, uh, then does this, uh, what do we do with the agreement we just did with Iran? Well, I mean, let's think about why did North Korea do this? They, why did they decide to test a weapon now? I think North Korea wants a deal like the Iran deal, which, as you and I know, is a terrible deal and will do nothing to stop Iran from getting nuclear weapons. 
I hope the Obama administration is not lured into striking a deal with North Korea that will not really stop their nuclear program. We need the Republican presidential candidates to come up with a tough policy on how they will confront Iran, North Korea to completely end their nuclear weapons program. Joshua, agree? I uh, totally agree, but I also believe there's a lot of uh, politics involved as well. North Korea in particular has been having a lot of problems with China lately. Um, in October, by October, they arrested or executed more than 100 Chinese nationals. So this was, this was a message to China as well? We got the 10 seconds. This was a message to China? Uh, I think it was, partly. All right, All right guys, yeah. we'll continue this. Appreciate it. Fred and Joshua, thank you very much. Larry Clayman is up next. Trump, Hillary, don't go away.